Welcome to Gospel Living Made Awesome. I'm Chaz. I'd like to give you each a challenge today. Now, if you're listening to this recently after it was posted, conference was just last week. And if you watched conference, you'll have noticed several topics that came up many times. One of them was missionary work, or particularly sharing the gospel. Now, if you're like me, that topic totally overwhelms you. The idea of sitting down and talking with your friends about the church or giving them a Book of Mormon can be completely overwhelming. So before you turn off the video and say, forget it, I'm not doing this, not another missionary thing, just hear me out for a second, okay? And if you need to, just set that aside for a second. I want you to think about something that you're really good at, something that you really enjoy, something that maybe people really like to see your work in. Maybe you're good at music, maybe you blog, maybe you are just a big Facebooker. Whatever it is that you like to do, think about that thing and think about what it is about that thing that you really like to do. Now here's where the challenge comes in. I'm going to challenge you to do that thing that you love to do and do it in a way that shares the gospel. Now that doesn't necessarily mean that if you're a big Facebooker that you have to post a link to the Book of Mormon and to General Conference. Now, if you want to do that and if you're comfortable doing that, by all means, go for it. But it could mean maybe being a little bit more communicative with your friends. When they post something, just respond kindly, nicely. And then once in a while, share something. It can be vaguely gospel related. It could be something that just touched your heart. Maybe a song from the radio. And then just share a little thought about it that might give a hint toward your testimony. If you're a musician, maybe try writing a song with a title that has a vaguely gospel-related topic to it, or with lyrics that have a gospel message that people can relate to. If you're an artist, make an art piece that has a gospel message to it that may not be necessarily overtly Mormon, but have it be a subject that people can relate to, but points vaguely toward your testimony. Now, the reason I say vaguely is because, let's face it, sometimes we're intimidated to share our testimonies. And that's not always because we're ashamed of them or afraid of what they will think. A lot of times it's because we know that people are easily offended. We also know that they may feel overwhelmed and overpounded on by their fellow Mormons trying to get them to go to church and see the missionaries again. Now, if you are one of those people that are pretty heavy-handed about missionary work, just consider how you might do it more gently. But if you're someone that is a little bit afraid to approach missionary work in any way that's going to isolate your friends because they've been through that before, then just take this approach of being very subtle. And it's not about holding back your testimony, but it's about sharing it in a way that you're comfortable with and that they're comfortable receiving. After you've shared the thing that you're going to share, do it again. Do it with something else. Something else that you enjoy. It can be the same topic, the same genre, or it can be a totally different thing. Now, I'm a gardener. I love things relating to digging in the earth and planting seeds and getting things to grow. What in the world does that have to do with missionary work? <laughs> I don't know. But that's the point, see? I want you to think about these things and think, what's some way that I can share something that might subtly reflect my testimony? For me, it might be talking to my neighbors about my garden and saying something like, man, it's amazing how plants and animals just have this beautiful cycle of life and and it's, it's inspiring to me. It's inspiring and makes me feel close to God. Now, for some of you, that may not feel very subtle, but whatever your topic is, whatever the thing is that you love to do, I don't care if it's sports, genealogy, video games, texting, rock throwing, reading, eating, underwater basket mashing, or deep sea skyscraper diving, darts, magic tricks, Pencil carving, cheese ball slingshotting, Kleenex eating. Okay, no, don't do the Kleenex eating one. Whatever it is you love to do, find a way to share that with people in a way that will reflect your testimony. Now, if that still scares you a little bit, I want you to think about something. You're probably already doing that very thing. 
If you're a scuba diver diving down in the water and swimming with the fishes and you're talking to somebody about that experience, maybe even fellow scuba divers, you've probably already brought up the topic of how amazing underwater life forms are and how deep the oceans are. Now you're just going to find a way to squeeze in just a little bit of your deepest inner self, those things that matter most to you, into those conversations. So there's your challenge. Take something that you love to do and find a way to use it to share the gospel in some subtle, simple way. And when you do, tell us about it. Share it in the comments. It doesn't have to be something big. It doesn't have to be that your friend is now being baptized because you taught them about immersion in your scuba diving discussion. It can be that you wave to a stranger on the street and ask them if they needed a hand. Don't forget that service is one of the greatest things we can do in the gospel. And when I say share it with us, I really mean that. I mean that because making a commitment is one thing. Keeping a commitment is another. And it can be difficult to match those two. But if you have accountability, somebody that you're answering to, or somebody who's, who you're following up with, that can really help. And if you don't want to share it publicly, either send me a private message or just say, I did it. Thanks for joining us.